everyone. I hope you guys are all having a super awesome day. Um, I haven't done any beauty videos in a while, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this makeup look that I'm wearing um, right now. Um, this makeup look is inspired by a Keira Knightley um, photo that I found online, and I really, really love the way her makeup looked. So it's this photo here. Let's see. If it, there we go. And obviously I don't look anything like Keira Knightley, but I love her makeup in this photo, so I decided that it would be cool to um, show you guys my version of this look. So, um, I'm not going to show you guys the hair. If you guys want the hair tutorial, leave me comments in the, in the comment section below, and I'll do that if you guys want it. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you guys this makeup look, so let's get going on that. Okay, so first I've got the usual suspects already applied to my face. I start out with my Marcel Essentials First Wrinkles Eye Contour Cream. And then I use the Hydrophase Intense, and I'm using the rich one right now. Then I apply my Magic Skin Beautifier BB by L'Oreal. I love this product. I can't say enough good things about this. And then I apply my concealer, and I'm using the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer Balm. Then to set everything, I use my Fit Me Maybelline Press Powder, and I this is another product that I really, really love. So now we can start on our makeup, and we're going to start with our eyes. So first, I'm just going to clip my hair out of my face so that you guys can see what I'm doing better, and it's just not getting in my way. And we're going to start off with this Annabelle eyeshadow in the color Gleam. And it's a sort of um, a gold beige color. So if you can't find this exact color, don't worry. You can just use whatever you have that's similar or whatever you can find that's similar. And then we're just going to use a regular um, eyeshadow lid brush just to apply this all over our eyelids all the way up to the crease. So once I've got that applied to my eyelids, I'm going to take a very small round eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use the same color, I'm going to apply it to the very inner corners of my eyes and then also along the bottom lash line all the way from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Next I'm going to take my Sephora Color Anthology Collection, and again you don't have to have the exact palette as I am, just try to find similar colors. I'm using the, the brown that's in the very middle of this palette on the right side, and I'm going to take my angled brush, I'm going to load up my brush with that brown, and I'm going to apply it along the base of the upper lash line as you would an eyeliner. Next I'm going to use the darker brown, it's kind of a, a grayish brown that's below the color I just used and I'm going to also apply that along the base of my upper lashes, layering our eyeshadows in different colors adds a lot more dimension to our look. So we're going to apply it from the very inner corner all the way to the outer corner and then wing it out just slightly. So next we're going to take our small round eyeshadow brush again and we're going to start with the brown color that we applied in the beginning to our upper lash line and we're going to apply that using this brush to our lower lash line. We're going to go from the outer corner but not all the way to the inner corner because we don't want any color on that inner corner. We want to keep the inner corners nice and bright. And we're going to make it a little thicker um, blending down a little bit. So next we're going to take that darker color that we used earlier, again, below that first color, and we're going to apply it to the same area on our lower lash line. Again, just extending it slightly lower than you would normally apply a color on your lower lash line. Next we're going to take this very black eyeshadow, load up our brush, and we're going to apply it in the same area as we just applied those two brown colors. Now right now we're starting to look a little bit like a raccoony 
look or smudged makeup, but I promise in the end this is going to look beautiful. So next we're going to apply some eyeshadow to our creases. We're going to start with this sort of rusty, shimmery brown. And we're just going to apply that to the very crease and very concentrated color to both of our eyes. Next take a fuller, fluffier eyeshadow brush and we're going to, in, in a circular motion starting out, blend out that color we applied to our crease and we're just going to blend it so that when you have your eyes open you're just starting to see the color on your brow bone. So you don't want to apply it any higher than your brow bone. So just blend it out using circular motion and also that windshield washer motion as well. Combination of the two. But then again we're going to take our small round eyeshadow brush and we're going to pick a much darker rusty brown color. This one is a matte color and we're going to again apply that to our crease. And then once again we're going to take our fluffier eyeshadow brush and we're going to blend that darker color into the lighter color we used. So you don't want to blend this color out too much, we're just trying to blend the two colors together. Next we're going to move on to our bronzer. This look calls for a more sun-kissed glow, so um, we're going to apply this bronzer I'm using here and it's by Physicians Formula and it's called How to Bronze. So we're just going to use our angled brush and we're going to apply it to the hollows of our cheeks, so below our cheekbones. And you just want to blend it back towards your ears and into your hairline. We're also going to apply some bronzer to our temples, just onto the outer sides of our forehead. And then also into the hairline on our forehead. Next we're going to apply some bronzer just under our chin, in the very center. And then on either side of our nose, you can just squeeze your angled brush to get it to a skinnier line. And then apply it down each side of your nose, in the creases on your nose, and then on the tip of your nose. Next we're going to take some blush. I'm using a sort of a rosy plum color. Mine's an Annabelle color, and it, it doesn't have a name, but it's number 48. And you're just going to load up your fluffy powder brush and tap off the excess really really well because we don't want to have a lot of color on our cheeks. And we're just going to apply it to the apples of our cheeks and then up towards our hairline. We're going to do it just above where we applied our bronzer and that's going to blend the two together and make those look a little more seamless and a little less noticeable. Once you've applied your blush we're going to move on to our highlighting powder. This one is a Physician's Formula Powder Palette and it's in Translucent Pearl number 4R. So I'm just going to take a very skinny eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply it to the very inner corners of my eye. We're also going to be applying this to our brow bone, but first we want to brighten up our brow bone with a the lighter off-white color. I'm using this mushroomy color in my Sephora Color Anthology palette. And you just want to use your finger for this and then just apply it to your brow bone. Now once you've done that, you can apply your highlighting powder to your brow bone as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to apply some of our highlighting powder to our cheekbones. Next we're going to apply our eyeliner and you want to use a very, very black eyeliner. I'm using the Carbon Black Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Liner by L'Oreal and it's in Carbon Black color. So we're going to apply this to the lower waterline and just into the lash line as well. You don't want to apply it below the lash line. We're also going to apply this to the upper waterline and apply it from the outer corner in but not all the way to the inner corner. I find that if I apply it too close to the inner corner of my eye it starts to leak down below 
my eye so make sure not to apply it all the way in or not too far in. Next we're going to finish our eyes off with some black mascara. I'm using Benefit's They're Real and this mascara is an excellent mascara. We're going to apply it to our upper lashes and you're going to wiggle it back and forth to get it as close as you can into the base and then as you pull up you're going to blink and this helps add some curl and some definition to your lashes. So just get it right into the base by wiggling and then wiggle up and blink. You then want to go ahead and, and apply a second coat of your mascara concentrating on the outer corner lashes. From there we're going to apply one light coat of mascara to the bottom lashes. Once you've finished applying your mascara, if you have any fallout from the darker eye shadows that we've applied, just take your fluffy powder brush and um, a little bit of powder and then just swipe it under your eyes and then also just go ahead and hit any areas that might have any shine. Now that we're done our eyes, we can finish off our look with our lips. I'm going to start off by washing out my lips with this scandalized waterproof eyeliner by Rimmel in nude. In this twilight color by Luna in eye candy. This color is no longer available. Just find something similar. But just before that I'm going to apply a little bit of the highlighting powder to the bow of my lips and this is just going to help to create that pouty look that she's got in the photo that's inspired this look. Once I've got my nude pencil applied all over my lips, I'm going to finish off with lipstick. You're going to want to blend your liner with your lipstick as best you can with your finger and maybe just wipe off a little bit if you feel that the color is still too washed out. And then lastly, you're going to finish off your lips with a high gloss lip gloss. Doesn't matter what color, any color will do and then just blend it with your finger into those two colors and then you're finished. Now I'm just going to take my hair out of its clip. I'm going to tousle it a little bit for a fuller sexy look and then I'm finished my Keira Knightley inspired makeup look. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you all like this makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with when I'm posting new videos. Also, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and a whole bunch of other places online and I'll be leaving all of the info and links in the description of this video below. Don't forget also to come and check me out on my blog. I'm posting a whole bunch of other things besides just my videos and I'd love to have you guys come and join if you haven't already. So come on over, it's thecreativeglow.blogspot.com. I hope you guys all continue to have a super awesome, fantastic day. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe and all those good things. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So let's go and do that.